FM, that's what they call me. I promise that you never be lonely. Good morning, family. Good morning, team intercessors. Or, as I used to say, good morning, team day day. As you all can tell, I switched my YouTube channel around a little bit. So it was a little different now. But, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, it's better that way. So today, I'm just basically doing an assignment. A real quick assignment that my, um pastor gave me um to do throughout the week wasn't able to really get to it because i was caught up doing stuff and you know i'm in the middle of looking for another part-time job and stuff like that so you know since i wasn't doing anything i decided to go ahead and discuss this um topic um as of right now me and um my pastor are discussing um discernment um Basically, I was, I was assigned to study the book of Daniel, one of the prophets, um, how he prayed. We looked up, you know, different words. Matter of fact, I'm going to go over those words with you right now. Amen. Just, just the words. I'm not going to tell you the definition, just the words. Um, that. I was supposed to look up. So, really, the words really are basically prayer, um, supplication, confession, um, discernment, um, Bible study, sanctification, commitment, um, faith, relationship, and prayer posture. Today, I'm going to be basically talking to you guys about, well, not talking to you guys, but um, basically speaking upon the assignment that my pastor wanted me to talk about, which is discernment. Um, one thing I can say that when you are a child of God, and also when you are an intercessor, period, um, it's important to have discernment. Because, you know, before I even go into, you know, the notes I wrote down and the stuff I got, um, this is just what I feel, and, you know, I believe that, you know, you will agree with me. Um, we have a lot of, you know, false stuff that's going on in the world today, including in the church world, where people are basically pretending to operate under the, the anointing of God or the Spirit. Of God by saying God is saying this, God is saying that when it's really not the case. You know, you can't, you know, really believe everything a person says. That's why it's important to have discernment because with discernment, you can discern them, you can discern what they're dealing with, what they're, you know, facing. You could discern whether, you know, they are really operating under the anointing or under the spirit or, uh, you can discern whether or not they are operating in flesh. One thing about me is I have a strong gift of I have a, I have a strong gift of discernment. Um, I could discern when people are for me. I could discern when people are against me. I could discern when I have real friends. I could discern when I when the friends I thought were my real friends are not my real friends. I could discern when you are operating in the spirit of God or when you're operating in your flesh. So I have a only point discernment. I can look at you up and down and tell whether you're operating um, in the spirit or not. I can look at, I can look you up and down and tell how you're operating, you know, as I'm in your face, whether you're operating under the spirit of church hurt, whatever it may be. So it's very important to have discernment. Very important. You know, one thing that me and um, my pastor prophetess is um, basically... Um, Praying for over the body of Christ as a whole. We're praying for the spiritual gift of discernment that God has given us to increase so we can discern more. You know, a lot of us, we don't discern. We just see, oh, it looks good. It's happening. You know, you know, people are uh, people are falling out under the anointing, but you never know. That could be a witch that's pretending to be led by God, you know. Laying hands on people. And remember, 
Their God is Satan. Their God is not our God. And then the thing about people have to understand is they're not going to tell you that they're that they're something by God. They're not. They're their God, Satan. They're not going to tell you that. They're not. That's why it's going to take you to discern their spirit, discern whether it's really God or it's not God, or it's a spirit that's trying to in you know, trying to fool you or something like that. You guys, you you get you understand what I'm coming from when I say that. But it's very important to have discernment. Very, very important to have discernment. And you know, um, as I end it, you know, um, you know, I just pray that you know you all will get something out of this, and that you will go before the Lord yourself. And ask God for discernment. So let's just talk about discernment for a little bit. What is discernment? What is discernment? Um, discernment is defined as the ability to notice the five points, details, the ability to judge something well, or the ability to understand and comprehend something. Noticing the distinctive details in a painting or understand what makes Art good or bad is a example of discernment. Let me go over to talk about the gift of discernment. The the gift of discernment, um, and I hope I'm saying it right, discernment, um, to understand or know something through the power of the spirit. You know, don't try to, you know, use your discernment in your flesh because it's not going to work. It's not. That's why it's important to discern things spiritually. You know, it includes persevering, uh, perceiving, excuse me, the true character of people and the source and meaning of spiritual manifestations. Guide to the scriptures, discernment gifts of scriptures. Um, so that's basically what discernment is and the gift of discernment. And then I did write down some other things, which is what is what is a discerning person? They are able to judge which things of a particular kind are good and which are bad. Like I was saying earlier, you'll know if someone is operating under Holy Spirit, which is good, or you'll know if someone is operating under um, Satan, which is not good. Also, how do you discern God's voice? The best way to discern God's voice from your own is to practice stepping out and acting on his voice. Um, when you think it's him, he helps you sort out and recognize his voice through a process of learning. Um, I also, you know, was able to discover some discernment prayers. Um, I thought this was very important also. And it's basically a prayer of wisdom and peace. When making big decisions, keep listening. Help, help me to discern your heart today. Give me discernment eyes. Pray for Communal discernment in a meeting help me learn to read my heart. And I pray to God that I read some of those correctly. Because um, I do tend to write in cursive. It's like my hand is programmed to write in cursive. So, um, you know, and I write really big. So, I tr I'm trying to learn how to write small. But, you know, that's just basically all that I looked at when it came down to discernment and then of course the seven steps to discernment is prayer, understanding, information, reflection, excuse me, um, decisions, action, spiritual direction. Um, but you know, discernment is very, very, very important to have. Um, it, it is very important to have. It's very, very important to have, especially if you are a child of God a born-again Christian, I believe one of the spiritual gifts that God will give you is, of course, discernment. So, that's basically all that I have today. I want to hear to see what your thoughts are about my study on it. Um, if there is more that I need to study about it, please let me know. 
Um, but that's basically all that I got out of the study that um, I did on discernment. Since I'm, since I was finally able to, you know, do the video. Normally I stand that stand some no, eh. Normally, excuse me. Normally I sit down and do it, but I decided to just stand up and do it. But I believe that's okay. It doesn't really matter. So yeah. But um, I hope um that this was helpful. Like I said, if I need to know more about it, please let me know. Um, and I will make sure that I will, you know, look up. I mean, find out more about it. Well, um, this is the end of this video. Be blessed in Jesus' name.